Okay, modified block letter. Modified block letter is considered a, a personal business letter. You'll notice that the date and sincerely and your name starts at the center point of the letter, just the way it's always been. Uh, makes it less formal than a block style letter. Uh, normally you use these in, in friendlier letters, whereas, uh, for instance, in a collection letter you would use a block style letter. Uh, not as popular as it used to be because there's a little more effort to, to set them up, but if you want to at least uh, psychologically have a little bit more friendly letter, then you'd use a modified block letter. All right, and if it's a business letter, then more than likely it's going to have a, a letterhead at the top, a one-inch letterhead. So to begin the letters, as you do most letters, uh, you hit enter three or four times for one and a half to two-inch top margin. Uh, and in, unlike the old days when we used rulers, you can just hit the tab about five times and, the, and type the date, and it will be uh, right near the, the center point, as you see here. After you type the date, and all letters have dates, make some legal documents when they have dates, you hit enter four times and type the address. You'll notice after you type the address down through Natchez, Louisiana, you'll uh, double space. That's what DS means, and type Dear Mr. Alcock. After you type Dear Mr. Alcock, you got a decision. Do you want it uh, mixed punctuation in which you'll put a colon here or a comma and a, co and a comma after sincerely? That makes it mixed punctuation. If you don't put a colon or a comma after dear Mr. Alcock, then you don't put one a comma after sincerely. That makes it open punctuation. Then you hit double space again, which is one blank line between. That's what double space is. It'll have a blank, one blank line between uh, whatever you're double spacing. You type the paragraph. So if you see uh, all the way to the end of the paragraph, type the period and hit again double space to start the next paragraph and so forth and so on. And eventually you'll get down to to the bottom of the letter. After the last paragraph, you hit enter twice. That makes it a double space. Tab over five times. You want it to start in the same place you did the date. I type sincerely yours and hit enter four times. Notice after the date you hit enter four times. After sincerely you hit enter four times. In this particular case, you're giving the person enough room to sign their name. Now, if it's a real long letter, and you're getting close to the bottom of the page and you think you might have a sentence or two on the next page, then you can take out a space or two, you know, between the date and the address and between sincerely and your name. But that's only done when it's necessary to keep the letter on one page. You try very hard to always have letters uh, just on one page. After your name, you type your name, you can double space. If you're putting something else in the, the envelope, like a check or an invoice or something, then you put in closures and if you have any uh, P.S. is that you need to do this as an area in which you also do. Okay, hope this helps.